I heard that Odessa is full of many English-speaking women, but uh, that this may be a red flag, that English-speaking uh, women may be more likely to be dishonest with foreign men. Do you think this is the case? You know, okay. <laughs> uh, I oh, de definitely disagree on that. I mean, I don't think somebody's ability to speak English has anything to do with, you know, honesty or dishonesty. For example, Odessa is a big port city. A lot of jobs are related to, you know, working in the tourist industry. So a lot of people work in hotels, a lot of people work in the ports, or, you know, even in the office, somehow their jobs most likely related to, you know, to that field. So they have to, you know, contact, you know, people in different countries uh, just because of some, you know, job requirements. So again, it has nothing to do with their personalities. So now it's much more girls speak English. It's so much easier to learn language now because online classes and of course, of course, they're paying more attention in school now because if you don't know English, you're not going to find a good job in uh, Ukraine or Russia. So of course, and much more people speak English. It doesn't mean that she is, uh, how you call, uh, it's not a red flag for, yeah, for so sure. Yeah, so Kiev, are big international cities. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, if a girl lives in like Suna or Zaporozhye, you know. Yeah, maybe, of, of course, there is no need for her to speak English on a daily basis. It's not and related to... For example, if she speak English, she probably won't find a foreign man. Then she can improve her English and maybe she really likes it. So yeah, make your communications yes. e easier, actually. Mm -hmm. You often hear about the scamming that occurs in Ukraine, but do the same dating scams also, also happen in the other countries like China, Philippines and Colombia? Well, Ukraine is a little bit cha challenging environment, let's, let's, be, let's be honest there. So, you know, if I say there is no scamming in Ukraine, no, I mean, you know, it's not true, it happens. It, but you know, the amount of scam you read about on the internet is definitely over-exaggerated. It's really not as much. It's, and, you know, there's always two sides to each story. You know, sometimes guys just upset that the girls didn't want to go out with them. They come up with a bunch of nonsense. Or when they're trying to date women out of their league, like, I mean, way out of their league. Uh, and again, they get very bitter about it and they write a lot of negative stuff. So, you know, it's not as horrible as you read on the internet. It's just, it's internet. You, you, you know, read the news, come on. When, when you just open the regular news feed on whatever, CNN, Fox, whatever you read. Do you read anything happy there? Do you read anything about puppy dogs and you know, you know, fairy tale unicorns? No, you just see, okay, this, you know, this, there's a murder there, there, there is mass protest there, economies, whatever. You, know. you never read anything positive on the news. And the same thing with you know, online dating. You know, yes, there are you know negative experiences, and some of them there are a certain percentage that's actually actually you know true and negative. Yes, that happens, but good chunk of it is just because you know people didn't have realistic expectations and they brought it on themselves so you know again as long as you're a good guy with realistic expectation and you listen to our stuff that helps you to avoid all that you should be fine in other countries you know back to the question like Philippines Colombia China uh, you know those issues are a little bit less common um, you know, we know again once in a blue moon it happens people are people it, things can happen in but overall, yes, it is less common, you know, in other destinations. It's just over the years, Ukraine been, you know, a little bit challenging grounds. So maybe that's why we're also going to continue to expand into other countries. We possibly consider start doing something in Belarus, but that's work in progress. So don't again, don't quote me on that yet. Another date in Odessa, not for my paper. The girl was photoshopped to death to draw attention on the side. Uh, 
but a little disappointing person spoke zero English, also disappointing. That's, we strongly recommend you do Skype. You have really good relationship in the letters and you have a feeling it's like a Photoshop, her pictures, or you really want to see her. I strongly recommend you to do Skype with her because usually it's the evening. The girl came back, uh, she already come back from work, she already took all her makeup off, she's probably after shower already, so you will see her nature. And all my girls who I did Skype so far, they're beautiful. They're even more beautiful than in a picture. I, I was interested, you know, how she looks in a picture, you know. And she looks even, uh, you know, more pretty uh, in uh, real life. So, so if you have any doubts, do Skype. What are the easiest way to tell if a woman is being honest once you meet her? Watch out for red flags if you have concerns. You know, always ask your interpreter, you know, or staff member questions, concerns. Go to if it was her interpreter, okay, then that makes sense to ask her interpreter. But if it was like a AFA interpreter, you know, talk to her. You know, they will share the experience, tell you the truth. Something wrong with solid date or everything went great, so you're gonna get the feedback that way. It's another reason why you really should be the interpreter. You too can experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Interested? Learn more at a-foreign-affair.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.